scientists at the University of Chicago received a pretty exciting delivery today. Yes, this is the uh, first piece of a next generation telescope, and it's designed to map the sky's afterglow from the Big Bang. Casey Cronus is live on campus with some galactic details <laughs> for us, Casey. Anthony and Sally, this is very exciting for scientists here at the University of Chicago. Inside the building behind me sits a massive crate holding a reflector for that telescope. Now it's made of two 20 ton blocks of aluminum and was delivered this afternoon, but it was no easy feat getting it here. The reflector was made in Germany and was hoisted onto a ship for its lengthy journey. Now that it's here, the reflector, which will be used for a first first of its kind telescope in the South Pole must be precisely mapped with a laser to see if the shape is exactly what is needed. What scientists are setting out to do with it is even more fascinating. And no one else has built a mirror quite like this out of this big piece of aluminum. So we want to really make sure this works as designed. What it allows us to do is look at the light coming to us right now actually from the early universe. So we're looking back in time 14 billion years and seeing that light just reaching us. And we want to actually measure that, the patterns of that light on the sky. And from that, we're trying to unravel the mysteries of how the universe actually started. And while it's been years in the making, this really is just the beginning. A lot of testing will need to be done inside this building, and it could take seven years before this telescope is positioned in the South Pole and ready for use. Now, a couple of hiccups today when it was being delivered. There was some construction here on campus that was unexpected. That was a little bit of a roadblock. Once they got past that and the truck was ready to bring this into the building, a student's car was parked in the driveway. They had to call that student, have them move the car, but all is well. It is inside. The crate has not yet been opened. They're waiting for a stand for that reflector, and then they will open it and see what is inside. Anthony, Sally. Very, very exciting. Yeah. Casey, thank you.